The measuring of vertical distance is one of many basic skills used by surveyors today, but also one of the most important. Surveyor George Everest used trigonometric heighting to measure the world's tallest peak. From natural to man-made, it is the physical structures around us that make the world in which we live so unique. Ancient Greek mathematician Euclid of Alexandria stated that the laws of nature are but the mathematical thoughts of God. Then ancient Greek geometers introduced Euclidean space for modelling the physical universe. Fast forward to over 2,000 years later and today we have the most sophisticated methods in which to measure and analyse both the natural and man-made structures around us. These include laser scanning, GNSS equipment, photogrammetry, drones and laser levelling. However, it's with a sense of irony today that even with all of the latest equipment, that the use of classical techniques such as trigonometric heighting are still widely more suitable and preferred by surveyors. Using a total station, it is easy to measure the height of a structure once the horizontal distance has been recorded. The next step is to sight and record both top and bottom vertical angles. Because these angles are both zenith angles, they must be then subtracted from 90 degrees. You then have the two opposite internal angles of your right angle triangles. We can then take the tan of each angle and multiply each by your horizontal distance. We then have two lengths, which when added together will give us the total height of the building being measured. 